Hi Mavericks, it's Mrs. Troutline and we are going to have some serious fun today with um, addition with two digit numbers. So go ahead and get out your bow and arrow and we are going to try to hit our learning target today. So everybody get out your bow and arrow. Here we go, let's read it together. I can add two two digit numbers. Excellent. This is a really big concept for first graders. And, um, and if we're able to do this by the end of the year, you are going to have to do a serious kiss to your brain because that is a really big deal. All right. So we're going to start off with just a quick little warm up video, just introducing the concept of adding two two digit numbers. So sit back and enjoy. Pause the video and figure out what 71 plus 24 is. All right, now let's do this together. So let's think about what 71 actually means. Well, we have a one in the ones place. Let me make this clear. So this is the ones place. And so we have one, one. And so that's that one, one right over there. And then in the tens place, in the tens place, we have seven. And so we have seven groups of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups of ten. So this this really means seven tens and one one. This right over here is seventy-one boxes. And we're going to add to that two tens. We're going to add to that two tens. You see them here. One ten, two tens, and four ones. And four ones. So what is that going to be? Well, let's first think about, let's think first, think, let's think about the ones. If we have one one and then four more ones. Well, that's going to be five ones. That's going to be five ones. So we can count them right over there. That is five ones right over there. One one plus four ones is five ones. And then when you look at the tens, seven tens plus two tens. Well, if you combine all of these together, if you combine all of these together, you are going to have nine of these groups of 10. You're going to have nine tens. Seven tens plus two tens is nine tens. So we're left with nine tens, which we see right over here, and five ones. And five ones. Well, what's another way of saying nine tens and five ones? Well, that's 95. And we're done. All right, friends. So that was using those proof drawings that we've learned about before, um, really focusing on drawing out your 10 sticks in ones. And so we're going to learn a new method today. So let's start with this one right here. We have a, um, a story problem, and I'll read it out first. It says, Uncle David and Aunt Sarah had a race to see who could pick more apples. Sounds like a fun race. Aunt Sarah picked 48 apples. And Uncle David picked 37. How many apples did they pick all together? Now, looking at that word problem, I first need to think about what are they asking us? What are they asking us? Well, we get a big, juicy word in this problem. It's the word all together. They want to know how many apples they collected all together. That, so that tells us, are they doing subtraction or addition of their apples? Are they adding them or subtracting them? Did you say addition? Nice, excellent. So now we're going to set up our story, our story problem, just using the numbers and the information that um, we know we need to do with it, which is to add them together. And so um, the first thing we're going to do is do it in vertical form. So how many apples did um, Aunt Sarah, Aunt Sarah pick? She picked forty-eight. So I'm going to go ahead and write my forty-eight, nice and clear. And you're going to do the same thing on your scrap piece of paper. Always pause the video if you need to, to go grab something to write on. So 48 right here, I know that it's four tens and eight ones. If I wanted to do a proof drawing, I could. I could do my four tens and eight ones neatly over here. Um, but we're gonna try a new method today. How many apples did Uncle David pick? Uncle David picked 37, nice job. So we're gonna write 37 right over here. 
Okay, and the new method that we're going to talk about today is the call the new group below the new group below. So I'm going to start with my ones column. Does everybody see my ones place value right here? So this eight and the seven are both worth one. Um, they're both worth, we're talking about ones here. So we're talking about eight ones and seven ones. And if I want to add that together first, just to keep myself organized, I can start with eight, put it in my brain and then count on from there. So I'll start with eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I know that eight plus seven equals 15. So I can write, watch this very carefully. If it's the number 15, I can write my ones from this number over here, right here underneath my ones place but it's the number 15. I have a 10 in there that needs to be carried over to my tens place value. So what I'm gonna do is that new group below, I'm gonna put a little 10 right there. That way I can keep it organized and I can say, okay, what's four plus three, four plus three, five, six, seven. Seven plus one more is eight. So I know that 48 plus 37 using my new group below method is the number 85. But friends, am I done with this problem? No way, I can't just say that it's just 85. There's no label. So what, would, what are we talking about here? Are we talking about, um, let's see, are we talking about pieces of candy? No. Are we talking about toys? No, we're talking about apples. We always need to add in our story problems, we need to add our grade label. So let's look at the next one together. Here we go. All right. All right, so I'm going to erase my board. You don't have to erase your sheet of paper. You can keep all of your work just neatly on there. And let's read. Today, two helpers came to Aunt Sarah and Uncle David's orchard. That's a place where you can grow fruit. The first helper, Billy, picked 36 apples. The second helper, Paradox, picked 58 apples. I've never heard that name before. How many apples did they pick all together? So first things first, what is our story problem asking us? What's our story problem asking us? They're asking us, how many, juicy word, all together. And that means we're using addition, nice. Okay, so Billy picked how many? 36 apples. So we can write that neat and nice right up there. And how many do Paradox, that's an odd one, um, pick how many apples? 58. Okay, so we're gonna add our ones place first. So looking at this right here, go ahead and add your ones place on your sheet of paper now. I'll do the same down here. Okay, hold it up to your computer, let's see it. Did you say that six plus eight equaled 14? So remember, I have to put my ones here in my ones place, and I need to use my new group below right here with my tens place. So the number is 14. That's what that equals. Um, to solve eight, six plus eight, I actually used a doubles plus two fact. So I knew six plus six equal 12, but eight's two more, so I knew it was 14. You might have done the same thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna come over to my tens place and I'm gonna go ahead and group those. So I have a three and a five. Well, I know three plus five, that equals eight. But remember, I had my 10 from my 14 over here. So it's three plus five plus one. That would give me nine, also known as 94. Alrighty, friends. So go ahead and make sure that yours is complete. Oh, I'm so glad you stopped me. What did Ms. Troutline forget? Oh, you know. My label. Add your label to your board too. Fantastic. All right. 
let's do one final practice before you do your worksheet page. Okay, so this problem says, Uncle David used 47 apples to make some apple pies. Oh man, this problem is making me very hungry. Uncle David used 47 apples to make some apple pies. And Sarah used 25 apples to make her pies. What was the total number of apples they used? Ooh, I have a big juicy word there to let me know. Is this, in, are they asking us to add? or subtract. And that one is the total number were my juicy words. So total number tells me it's like a big alarm going off. Add them, add them, add them. <laughs> so we are going to add those two numbers together. So on your, on your sheet of paper, go ahead and set up your problem in vertical form and then hold it up when you're ready. I'm really making sure that my two two-digit numbers are lined up really, really nicely and that that equal sign, which is that straight line on a vertical form, is neatly right below. So does your problem look just like this? Great. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at our ones place. And if we look at our ones place, we see can see a seven and a five. So I just need to add together my seven and my five to begin. So seven plus five, oh, I'm going to use my doubles take away two um, method for this one. So I know seven plus seven equals 14, but what's um, two less? Great. Seven plus seven equals 14, two less than that is 14 and I'm sorry, is 14 and two less than that is 12. So I'm going to go ahead and write my two here in my ones place. And I'm going to put my new group below right here. Can you guys tell it's just a little one right there. So my number is 12 for seven plus five. Then I come over and just add up my tens place. So I have 40 plus 20 but I can look at it like this, four plus two plus one. Four plus two equals six, plus one more equals seven. Just like that, and I can erase that. So I know that 47 plus 25 equals 72. Am I all done? No, I'm not all done. I need to add my label. Did you guys already beat me to it? <laughs> Way to go. All right, friends. So now what we're going to do is we are going to look at our worksheet. Of course, it has to do with apples. You knew that. Um, and they are going to read the instructions. Actually, Ms. Trawainas, so just get ready for her voice. 24 apples, 9 apples, 36 apples, 30 apples, 5 apples, 40 apples, 20 apples, 2 apples. 19 apples, 53 apples. Number five, work in pairs. One child chooses one apple tree with a two digit number. The other child chooses another tree. Number six, on your math board or paper, add the apples in the two trees. Number seven, check to see if you both got the same answer. Number eight, repeat with other trees. Okay, friends. So this would have been a partner activity had we been at school, but this can also be, um, if you have a sibling, you could do it with them where they choose one tree and you choose one tree, or you can also, um, this could also be a solo activity. Either way is great. So they said to choose two different trees, okay? And you have to um, choose one tree at least with a two digit number. And so if you're playing with your little brother or little sister, you could they could pick tw the apple tree with 24 apples. And so what you're gonna do is you are going to write the number 24, write just like that. And then the next person might choose an apple tree that just has two apples. And you're gonna add those two numbers together in vertical form. So 24 plus two, I've lined up my ones. I know that's six, then I only have a two in my tens place. Easy cheesy. Okay, 
So you can pause the video here and um, complete that sheet. Once you are done, and I want you to come up with five different tree combinations. So remember one always has to be a two digit number tree and the other can be a single digit or another double digit if you're feeling really advanced. All right, and then, so you're gonna pause the video, play that game, and then you're gonna press play again and we're gonna do one more sheet. Okay, it's gonna load. Any second now. <laughs> and um, this sheet, once it loads, we might even press pause. Oh, just one second. Hey, hi. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> All right, those were those were very special guests. Um, for the next one, you're gonna do a similar thing, but these trees got a little bit harder. And so for this one, you are going to the first player or yourself is you're gonna pick one tree. And then the next player is going to choose the next tree. And remember, you're gonna write it in vertical form, add them together. And the challenge for this page that you didn't necessarily need on the other page is to use that new group and below method. So making sure that you add your ones place first and then going over and adding your tens place and adding on any of those extra tens that you might have. All right, have fun with this game and we'll see you soon. Bye.